Balance is getting a lot of play lately. You have to find a balance between your work and family. If you meditate, you're trying to find your balance or your center. It seems the one thing you don't have to balance anymore is your checkbook. There is one man, though, who has perfected the art of balancing, and balancing is his art. Here's Ali Ward to explain. The world of innovation doesn't just revolve around technology. It can also be the innovative art of the world that revolves around us. What keeps these stones together, do you think? Magic? Glue? Or maybe gravity? I wanted to find out. So I flew to Boulder, Colorado to meet up with stone balancing artist Michael Grab. He uses his hands, focus, and physics to create balanced works of art that defy the mind's sense of what's possible. How do you answer the question, how do you do that? Well, I usually look for a top rock first, which is usually the biggest, heaviest rock. And once I find that, then I kind of start filling in the pieces to complement that rock. Michael's sculptures are in turn complemented by his photography, and he has created a stone sculpture portfolio called Gravity Glue that transports you to a place of mesmerizing beauty and calm. In fact, his innovative art is not only a passion, it has become his profession. And no, there is no glue involved, just an innate understanding of physics and focus. While some people find sports or music cathartic, for Michael, it's stone balancing that brings him a sense of peace. It takes an extreme amount of patience and focus and mindlessness to zero in on all these vibrations that are going on in all different directions and having them all cancel out to the point where you can let go. You have to find that still point in yourself before you can realize it in a set of rocks. I couldn't just stand by and watch. I was so excited about defying gravity with Michael that I prepared. I maybe I overprepared, no. All right, dude, I'm set. Nice, <laughs> okay. Time to wade in the water, find some rocks, and start stacking. You kind of have to put two at once. <laughs> kind of like a very heavy house of cards. Michael made it look easy. <laughs> I'm so afraid okay, to see. Okay, so now you, now you have to do it. I'll let you uh, try to balance this one. Okay. <laughs> Surprisingly heavy. Okay. Um, yeah, you want the top to come this way a bit. I feel like you <laughs> helped me then. You need three points of contact for something to balance, just like a tripod. Put another one on top of it. Before I started doing this, I approached the world with kind of a victim mentality. Basically the standpoint where the world happens to you and all these circumstances happen to you. But this practice has really flipped that on its head. Instead of approaching the world with a victim mentality, I approached the world with a creator mentality. Just thinking about the world in terms of possibility versus limitation. A great message to remember that the world is full of building blocks with which you can build your own limitless dreams.